I've now finished my second year of my degree training in musical theatre at London Studio Centre and in our final week of second year we had our end of year show um, which was Dance Overture 2024. We had tech, we had run throughs and we had four show performances. There is a vlog with some footage from that week coming soon but today's vlog is actually from the weekend before my last week. Well the bulk of the vlog is from that weekend. I'm filming the intro and the outro uh, at least a couple of weeks after that weekend. But yeah, the bulk of the vlog is from the weekend before the Overture week. It involves me practicing winged eyeliner. I also show you my Halara shorts and there's other things in there too. If you're new to my channel, then welcome to the Performing Arts and Me. I'm Millie and on this channel I make videos about musical theatre, dance, drama school and my general life experiences. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, then I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Yeah, hope you enjoy the vlog. Good morning everyone, it's nearly 20 past 11 on Saturday and I am about to head out to a coffee shop and then do my grocery shop on the way back. I've had quite a relaxing morning actually for me, um, I didn't get out of bed until about 9 o'clock which is quite late for me and had breakfast, had a shower and just kind of chilled around this morning, went on my phone, that kind of thing. Anyway, I'm gonna head out now, see you later. It's not really giving aesthetic vlog but hey, I'm just walking to the coffee shop now and I'm actually gonna go Sainsbury's on my way there as well because I need to get a pen. Okay, I went to Sainsbury's. Hello, so I'm back. I did go to the coffee shop. Uh, I went to Nero in the end and that was really nice actually. I did some like summer goals planning, that kind of thing. Um, and also had a look at the schedule for next week to try and work out how many meals I was going to have to make that I was going to have to take to the theatre with me. And then I went to Sainsbury's and did my grocery shop. I bought this water bottle. Um, because I'd like to have two to go to Overture with. I do actually already have two water bottles, but I only want to use one of those. Long story. But then this one um, will be my second one. I need, now need to unpack my shopping and make lunch because it's already gone 10 to 2. It's now quite a bit later on in the day. It's quarter past 6. After I had lunch, I did my sandwich prep for the week. So I've made and frozen some sandwiches so that I can just take them out of the freezer in the morning and take them with me. This is also really useful as well as like, oh, I don't have to make a sandwich. It's also useful because they're frozen so they can last me until the evening and not get too warm because they have to defrost. So yeah, I find them quite helpful. I've also put a wash on and I've tidied my room and I also spent a bit of time on the sofa just like on my phone. And I think it's been quite nice to actually just do nothing for a little bit because I've had quite a busy few weeks and... So yeah, I think doing nothing can be productive as well in a way. I did also email someone about a casting thing that I saw on a Facebook group. So that's a little theatre related thing to let you know about. Yeah, I've tidied my room mostly. I mean, there's still a few bits and I feel a lot better for having done that. I am just going to open this package, which I think is my fishnet tights for the show. We were asked to get town fishnet tights. So for one of the things I'm in, um, in overture for my costume, we were asked to get them. So I ordered these from Dance Direct. I ordered two pairs. One was more expensive um, and one was cheaper because our choreographer recommended getting a decent pair because apparently it's something that's quite often required for you to have in the industry. So she said if you've got the money for it, I'd recommend investing in a decent pair. So I wanted to do that, but I also wanted to have a spare pair and I didn't want to buy two expensive pairs. So I bought one cheaper one and one more expensive one. So these look like they're the more expensive one. Uh, it's Silky Dance. They're quite small fishnets. I somehow, I don't think I've ever worn fishnet tights before for a dance. They're quite a dark colour. Um, I did think on the picture it looked a bit dark, but I don't think they had any other options, so I just got this one. They do seem to be quite dark brown, and I don't fake tan or anything, so they might be too dark. Not that I imagine you can return tights, I don't know. They are quite solid, uh, they're quite stretchy. They have a decent waistband. Our choreographer mentioned to us that ones that have a really thin waistband can cut in. So I was trying to look for one with a thicker waistband but it was really hard to see on the pictures whether they had a thick or thin waistband. They are quite dark. I mean obviously I'm only putting it on my arm now but then I will have tan tights on underneath but I'll probably try them on properly later. And then this is the other pair which looks like the cheaper pair which is also silky dance. These are intermediate fishnet tights. These ones were called professional fishnet tights and the colour is called toffee. Uh, the colour on this one is natural. Let's try opening these up. Uh, this is more matching in terms of colour, but they're definitely not as robust. Um, the material, I feel like I'm going to rip them. 
yeah, these are really like, they kind of remind me of like a bonnet type thing. Not quite that thin, but that sort of material, but then layered a couple of times. Whereas this is like, feels more plasticky. Um, this one also, it has thicker bits on the toe, but it doesn't have a foot base, whereas this one has like a foot base. As you can see, there is quite a colour difference. And this is definitely more matching my skin tone. I will have tan tights on, but I don't think they'll be this dark. I might end up buying another pair that's a lighter colour. Yeah, so that was that. I also wanted to show you the shorts that I bought from Halara. I don't know if you watched my haul video recently, but I got a gift card refund for a couple of items. And I bought some shorts and they came. And these are the shorts I got. Ta-da! They have a crossover bit at the front here, as you can see. Um, and they have pockets on both sides. They fit well and they're quite soft material. I'm happy with the length of them as well. I think I prefer them to be slightly thicker. The material um, thickness felt a little bit thin to me. But they fit alright and I'm keeping them. I've worn them to college and been complimented on them. So yeah, they were also a slightly brighter colour than I was expecting. It doesn't really show on camera and actually it's not really showing now. But when I pulled them out of the packet I was like, wow, these are brighter. I was expecting kind of more of a, I don't know. A different colour. Maybe it's because I've just washed them or maybe it's the lighting, they just don't seem as bright now or maybe I'm just more used to them. Um, yeah, anyway, I think I'm going to go and make dinner now and I'll speak to you later. Hi everyone, it's 10 to 10 now and I'm just about to try doing some winged eyeliner. So far we've had two run-throughs of the show um, in college, none of the theatre yet, like four runs of the show which um, minus the finale, which were both in hair and makeup. Um, one of them was in costume and one wasn't, so I've had two times to practice winged eyeliner. I did winged eyeliner for the show last year and I can kind of do it but I don't wear makeup on a day-to-day -day basis and I don't do winged eyeliner if even if I'm wearing makeup. On the first day I asked someone to do one eye so I could then copy it because I was struggling um, and I got some tips from her and also from a couple of other people over the two runs of doing it. Like I said I can kind of do it but I just need some practice basically and I also want to get a lot quicker. Well, that's a great start. It was going so well. I got the line in the right place and I just smashed it. It's not bad, but it's not how I want it. I think I just got makeup remover in my eye, but it doesn't sting, so I'm just going to leave it for now. Again, it was going better, and then look what I've done, like... Yeah. Take three. Again, it was going well, and then... It just now is not. Take four. Is this flick? This is what I don't like. The fact it flicks. I'm trying to go less flicky. I don't even know how I managed to do this. Well, I mean, obviously I do, but like, I don't know if you can see, it's like there's an S shape. I just tried to fix it and it made it worse, so I am gonna take it off and try again. Yeah, this was going better until I tried to make it thicker. Take six, seven. So looking at this on the camera, it doesn't look too bad, but it doesn't look like it's connected to my lower eyelid, so I'm going to try and fill in this tiny little gap here. And now I've made it worse. Okay, I'm going to check back in a little bit and let you know how it's going, because you don't need to watch me put on eyeliner 50 times. Okay, so I quite like this eye. This one has still got the little flick. I know I said I didn't like the flick, and obviously this does go up, but this shape of it I like better. This seems to have more of a, I don't know, a down up, whereas this one like goes up. So I think I need to make it more of like a straight line when I do it. I'm gonna have one more go on this side and if it doesn't work, then I'm gonna stop because this eye is getting sore from on, off, on, off with the makeup. Okay, it wasn't as great as I wanted, but my eye is stinging now, so I'm just going to leave it for tonight. And I think I'm going to leave the vlog here for tonight. I'll be picking up the camera again tomorrow. But yeah, I'll speak to you tomorrow.
Bye. Good morning everyone, it's now Sunday, it's about quarter to 11. Actually, looking at my phone time, it's nearly 10 to 11. I need to change that clock uh, um, on my windowsill because it's five minutes wrong, which is not gonna be helpful next week. Anyway. So I had been thinking of going to the 9.30 church service, however I got up about 10 to 9 so I knew that wasn't going to happen. So I'm now aiming for the 11.30 church service. I've basically got up, had breakfast, uh, that kind of thing. I've put a wash on this morning but I haven't really done much else except I'm just trying on my tan fishnets um, which I'll try and show you. They are definitely not the right colour. These are the more expensive pair, which is a bit annoying. The other pair I think will be fine, but I don't think that these are. Actually, on camera it doesn't look too bad, and maybe it won't on stage either, but in person they look really dark. This lighting kind of shows it a bit better, but like, I've got tights on underneath, and then you can really clearly see the, like, the fishnets. My current plan is to order some new ones that I think will match a bit better. I am going to try and order a good quality pair like these ones, because I already have the cheaper pair. Um, I've, obviously I've got the cheaper pair so I can wear them for now. Hi, I've just started looking for tights, sorry, you can hear probably the washing machine in the background. But I'm just looking at a pair now, and the colour of the tights compared with the colour of the model's skin. The skin does look lighter than the tights. So I'm going to keep looking, but maybe these are okay. I really don't know because I've never worn tan fishnets before. So yeah, I don't know. Okay, I've found another pair that looks like it might be a better match. But to get a good quality pair, like we're talking like £30. Okay, I've decided I'm just going to get them. Okay, I've just ordered them. £30 for a pair of tights. Like I know they're good quality, but £30 for a pair of tights, that's expensive. Anyhow, I've got them, so now I'll have a pair that I think, hopefully, will match a bit better. Wait, it says students 25% off, what? You have to upload evidence, so I won't be able to get it for this purchase. Um, I'm now going to have a snack and get ready for church. I'm on my way to church now. Uh, it started four minutes ago, so I'm gonna be late, but it's all right. I'm back. It's really wet outside, it does not look like July weather at all. Anyway, I popped Sainsbury's um, after church to grab some toilet roll and I also got a couple of other things. Let me show you. Okay, so I bought toilet rolls, uh, but I also bought a couple of tissue packs because I don't use makeup wipes normally. Um, I do have maybe like a pack with one or two left in it, but I generally use makeup remover and reusable cotton pads, but I don't have many reusable cotton pads. So I feel like I'm gonna run out during the week um, if I don't have time to do a wash or don't remember to do a wash or whatever. So I bought these as well to take to the theatre with me. And I've also bought a uh, fabric conditioner for the washing machine, but that's not interesting. I also bought this, which I've never had before. It's a chocolate breakfast drink. I'm thinking I'm gonna give it a try this afternoon to see whether I like it and potentially use it as a an evening drink because I normally have a hot chocolate in the evening as like a relaxing evening thing. I have it pretty much every night. Um, but if we're finishing at the theatre at like 10 o'clock or half past 10, then I'm not gonna be back until about midnight. And so I thought maybe if I could find a way to relax myself on the train and drink this instead, portable substitute version, then maybe that would help me get to bed sooner. But I did, I did this last year with like a Weetabix version of this, but they didn't seem to have that. But I found that actually I kind of still wanted the hot chocolate because it was the routine of making it and having it that helped me like relax and unwind. Like I kind of still wanted that. So I'm gonna A, see if I like the taste of this and B, have a think about some way that I could get myself into relax mode on the commute back just to speed up me going to bed a little bit. Anyway. That's it for now, I'm gonna get my coat off and unpack this and make some lunch. Hi everyone, um, so it's nearly 10 past 4. I've just filmed a video about my New Year's goals and my empty glow up 75 day challenge, like how that's all been going uh, or not going. You have to watch the video. And I spent a bit of time before that kind of planning and reflecting. Um, I also tried the drink, um, which it's okay. I'm not sure I'm gonna have another one, I didn't finish it. And I'm not sure I particularly want to, but it was it was okay. I'm just not sure it's going to be a substitute for my hot chocolate. Anyway, my phone's nearly out of storage, so I'm going to go now, uh, copy those videos and start editing. Okay, and that is it for today's video. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there will be a vlog with some footage from my final week coming soon. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you have, please do give it a like to let me know. And if you enjoy this kind of thing and you'd like to subscribe, then I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. Bye!